it can seem so overwhelming to get started on a whole food plant-based diet. Could you share some tips for beginners? That is so important a question. I mean, where do you start? You're standing in the, at the foot of Mount Everest. How do, how do I get up there? Uh, well, start where you're at. Uh, start with your favorite foods at your favorite meals. Uh, if you eat breakfast, uh, then how about some oatmeal with some fruit on it? And uh, Probably an old standard you're familiar with. Uh, but nowadays, if you want to go plant-based, instead of pouring cow's milk on your oatmeal, you put uh, uh, rice milk, hemp milk, oat milk, any of the wonderful plant milks that are available these days, uh, and use plenty of fruit. I often uh, put a tablespoon or two of ground flax seeds and, and chia seeds. Uh, we have a container of it on our kitchen table, or in the fridge, actually, uh, to add omega-3 uh, essential fatty acids to the oatmeal. But uh, that's been my standard breakfast. Had it this morning, uh, the oatmeal with the fruit and the plant milk. Uh, my wife uh, makes up a wonderful cashew milk uh, in the blender. And so I pour that on her on my cereal today. So start with that. Uh, and lunches and dinners, uh, I'd say, you know, start with the, uh, how do you put together a good lunch or dinner? Uh, hang it on the four S clothesline, salad, soup, steamed veggies, and, and starches. And so start with a salad. Uh, if, hopefully you like salad. You've got to eat something fresh uh, every day. And, um, and there's so many wonderful no oil vegan salad dressings. So just, you can just do a search on no oil vegan salad dressing. Uh, but any of the good recipes these days uh, from <laughs> Brenda Davis and uh, uh, Michael Greger, there's, there's so many recipes you can make in the blender in a few seconds. So have a big salad. Everybody can feel comfortable with that. Put in whatever you like. The more colors, the better. And then uh, most everybody likes hearty vegetable soups. Make up a wonderful vegetable soup. Uh, and uh, put in all the veggies you like. <clears throat> Nowadays, if you don't want to spend all the time in your kitchen cutting the vegetables up, uh, at the freezer case uh, at your local uh, uh, grocery store, uh, you'll find bags of organic vegetables already cut up in the bag there. <laughs> just, uh, just open the bag, throw it in the pot, and save yourself a lot of time and trouble, and, and they're of really wonderful nutritional value. Uh, and uh, add uh, a box of vegetable broth that always adds some hearty flavor to it. And then have fun with the flavorings. We can make it uh, Italian style or tomato uh, based or uh, Indian curries or uh, Mexican pozoles and chilies. There's all sorts of wonderful ways to make these hearty soups. And I said, make them almost a meal themselves. Put in some rice and lentils or quinoa or uh, uh, some uh, pasta, something to give it a little uh, starchy toothsomeness to it. And uh, let it simmer all day. Uh, I've, uh, we often put up our soup uh, in the slow cooker at night before we go to bed and put it on low and it cooks all night. The next morning, mmm, the kitchen tastes wonderful or smells wonderful. Uh, and then um, we take some plastic containers for the freezer. We ladle soup in uh, to four or five containers, let them cool, put lids on them, and put them in the freezer. So now we got soup portions. Those days we don't want to cook, just bring out the portion of soup, heat it, eat it, make life simple. Uh, the rest of the soup, uh, we'll pour some into a pot, let it cool, put it in the, for the fridge for tomorrow. And the rest of the we keep warm. And every time walking through the kitchen, we have another cup of soup. And uh, it doesn't matter how much you consume. The, the beauty of these whole plant foods, they are, uh, they're mostly fiber and water, the truth of it is. And whether you have a third bowl of vegetables, so who cares? It, it's a, you, you pee out the water, you, uh, the fiber passes on through you. Uh, the food doesn't stick to you. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to count calories or carbohydrates. You eat, have another cup of soup, it's fine. Uh, and so the salads and the soup really get you there. Um, the only other uh, requisites you need are some steamed veggies. Um, and just in general, <clears throat> uh, your favorite colors in putting together a healthy meal should be green and yellow. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. When you're, when you're shopping or when you're thinking about a meal, you want to steam up something green. Uh, there's so many wonderful things in dark green vegetables. We're talking about broccoli, kale, chard, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, uh, dark green vegetables. Uh, break out your vegetable steamer and learn how to use it. Uh, put it on, onto a pot with an inch of water in the bottom. Bring that to a boil, throw your veggies in, put the lid on. Five minutes, eight minutes, 10 at the most of, of hot steam. 
turns those veggies really bright green and delicious. And uh, you'll eat a lot more steamed kale than you will raw kale. So I'm a big fan of steaming green vegetables. And yellow vegetables, carrots, squash, sweet potatoes, yams, you need those for the, for the carotenes and the antioxidants. So uh, steam up something green and yellow and serve that on the side. Put squeeze a little lemon juice over it or some salad dressing or balsamic vinegar, lots of nice things to put on your veggies. And then finally, uh, learn how to, learn to get familiar with the world of starches. We're talking about whole grains, uh, rice, of course. Uh, uh, but um, uh, there's all these wonderful non-glutinous greens, quinoa and millet and buckwheat. Uh, uh, learn how to steam up a pot of those, throw it in your soup, throw, uh, put it on your plate, put the veggies on top of that. There's so many wonderful things you can do with these whole grains. And finally, legumes are your friend. Anything in a pot is a legume, beans, peas, chickpeas, lentils. And they're so full of protein that if you can, at least once a day, have something in it with legumes, whether it's uh, a cup of bean chili or a lentil stew or a hummus sandwich or a bean burrito without the cheese. Uh, but uh, legumes uh, should be in your diet pretty frequently. And desserts, uh, all these wonderful world of fruits we have. Uh, we have a mango, we have a bunch of grapes, we have some watermelon. Um, this is a day of healthy eating with, um, uh, with whole plant foods that will leave you lean and healthy. Your bowels will like it, your blood pressure will like it, your skin will like it. It's a, uh, uh, it's a really healthy way to eat. So long answer, but you know, how do you get started? Start with those meals that you already like. If uh, you like mashed potatoes, great. You can make those in vegan style without the, without the butter. Now you like corn on the cob? Most people like peas out of the pond. There's wonderful foods that you already like. So start with those and, and build your meals around them. But learn how to get comfortable with making a good salad and, uh, and enjoying it. And it gets easier. The more you do this, as the days go by and the weeks go by, you can throw these meals together in 10 minutes after a while. And, uh, and uh, it asks less and less of you. So, uh, so And you get healthy in the meantime. So long-winded answer to a short question, but it's a really, really important one. So, so just start, even if it's just one reliable lunch, make, make a salad and a soup. Uh, you're, you're way ahead of the game. Just have that for lunch. Start there. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.